Cam, when you look at this game particularly, you're in Portland. Yeah. The last three games, you've been in New York, you've been in Paris. I think that's over 6,000 miles travel. Does it feel like you've played in different time zones? And how have you kind of just balanced it all? Well, that's part of the game. That's part of the business. That's part of being in this league. Um, you got to be able to adapt, adjust, um, and find your rhythm in, in maybe otherwise difficult circumstances. And that's what we're going to do tonight. And when it comes to tonight, this Portland team, you just saw a couple of games ago. What stands out about that game and what has to be different here tonight? We let up a lot of points, so we got to be sharper on the defensive end, and I think that'll translate to um, you know, being sharper on the offensive end, but that's where it starts. When it comes to that, that defense, how has the last couple of games since that Portland game been effective? That could be you know, a good thing here tonight. Yeah, I think we've picked it up a little bit on that end. Um, been a little bit better at times, and you know, it's a, it's a, it's a process, you know, putting pieces together and Went over some good stuff today and, and looking forward to carrying it over and playing with, you know, passion and aggression. Coming off of that last game at Barclays Center, something that we're not used to you guys seeing is miss a lot of threes. And Jock said that that's not something that he walked into thinking that y'all would, you know, miss, I think, 43 threes in a game. What, what That was a Nets record. Yeah. <laughs> when you hear that, though, as a group, um, just what was it about that game? And just kind of overall, what can you guys do to – not just continue to get those looks, but knock them down. I mean, a lot of them are good looks that just didn't go down, and, and that's how the game goes sometimes. Um, you got to be, you know, able to weather those storms and, and continue to have confidence and shoot the ball, and that's what we'll do, you know. I thought a lot of them were good looks, though. I really do. And when it comes to just the minutes and just rotation, some things have gone kind of up and down as a group for everyone. And Jock mentioned post game that sometimes that's matchup based and performance based. How do you approach that individually and as a team when you're trying to find that consistency, especially being almost halfway into the season? Uh, just, you know, taking advantage of every minute you're out there, playing hard. Um, and I think a lot of it starts with just doing the simple things, doing the principles and being in the right spots offensively and defensively. Cam, DeAndre Ayton is listed as probable here tonight. You got to play with him as a teammate. Now you're going to get to play with him as, as an opponent. Just what are you looking forward to the most of going up against him? Just competing. Uh, I competed, you know, alongside him a lot, but we also competed in practice a lot. Um, so it'll be familiar in that respect. But, you know, that's a, that's a good friend of mine, so I'm looking forward to seeing him again tonight. What's the challenge of adding him to this Portland Trailblazer team and kind of what he brings his game-wise? Well, he's a very talented individual. Um, can shoot the midi, has good touch, can finish around the rim, is just a big, strong body. Uh, protects the rim, too. He's, uh, he's the number one pick for a reason. Um, very good player, and, and he definitely is going to, you know, force us to crack down a little bit um, and be aware of him. But otherwise, we'll, we'll just look forward to playing our game. Is it true that he gave you guys, you and Mikel, yes. the nickname Twins? Yes. Yes, he was the first one to call us the Twins because he's like, y'all go everywhere together, you do everything together, y'all the Twins, y'all the Twins. You got to hear him talk, you know, in his little Bahamian accent and whatnot. But, uh, yep, he was the first one to give it to us probably four years ago now, four and a half years ago. And now, look, it's taken off. The nickname is taken off everywhere you go. Yep, exactly.